Agent Jay, new recruits, gentlemen, as you know, we at the FDA restrict the use of any mobile device or software intended for the use of diagnosis or treatment of illness. We intend to regulate these devices as part of our evil plan to undermine the effectiveness of coaching technologies, which are an established best practice of population health management. <laughs> Well, sir, what are coaching technologies again? Young recruit, you idiot! Coaching technologies include mobile health, telehealth, and many other combinations of technology and health care. Got it? Coaching technologies have been shown to be beneficial to individuals in the management of population health. So far, we've been able to keep coaching technology in the last millennium. Email is vaguely allowed, but we can limit that through our security protocols. But telephone, absolutely no cell phone use can be allowed. As long as we can keep control of this technology, we can maintain our dominance. Control, 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 control. control. These new wearable systems and devices are the problem that we have today. Here, watch this. Way better to watch. Wow! How are you so fast? Yeah, I've been using my new runner's buddy. It's really helped me to improve my pace. Oh, I heard about those. My grandma has one. She uses it for her glucose levels. She um she uses, she goes into the doctor and they just print out like all of her diabetes information right when she walks in the door. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the greatest. Not only does it help me improve my pace, but it uses I use it to monitor uh, my asthma. Well, that sounds like a good thing. I mean, why are we against it? Sure, it sounds great. There are studies that show a 17% decrease in the readmissions of patients with heart failure using relay care. Slippery slope, Teddy, that is a coaching technology that we do allow. In fact, the reduction of obesity and avoidance of chronic disease could reduce the economic impact of disease management by 27%. That's $1.1 trillion annually. Concurrently, this would increase the nation's GDP by $905 billion. Take that to the bank. Agency, a tertiary effect is the decrease in chronic disease treatment cost by $218 billion annually. Lower obesity rates could produce employee productivity gains of $254 billion and avoid $60 billion in chronic disease treatment expenditures annually. That's a lot of money. Based on these figures and its already proven success, coaching technologies will reduce healthcare costs within the MHS and the VA, as well as increase DOD personnel productivity and military readiness. But that's not the point. Gentlemen, what is the point? Control, 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 control. control.